What's up, YouTube world? I'm the Atlanta analyst, and uh, today we're going to be talking about my prediction between the Atlanta Hawks and the New York Knicks in the first round of the playoffs. Um, so, I think we got to start off by thinking about how good both of these teams are. People say they're equal. People say the Knicks are better. People say the Hawks are better. In my opinion, as you can tell by, you know, kind of the background stuff, I think the Hawks are a little bit better. I, the Hawks are my team. But let's break down the deepness of the Atlanta Hawks. Okay, let's start off with Trey Young. Okay, Trey Young is Trey Young. Then you go to uh, Collins, Capella, Gallinari, Bogdan, uh, Kevin Herter, Tony Snell, Solomon Hill, DeAndre Hunter. Um, you know, and the list goes on and on. When Yekka Kong, he's made tremendous, tremendous improvements. You can't, like, look at the stats. The stats are going up. He's made tremendous improvement. He's getting dunks now, like Collins and Capella. You know, he's trying to play hard defense. Now, in my opinion, DeAndre Hunter will lock up Julius Randle in this series. I hate to say it, Knicks fans, but that's going to be a major issue for Julius Randle. Uh, Julius Randle will struggle a lot because of the intensity that DeAndre Hunter plays on. If you look at the game that DeAndre Hunter did play, game two, I mean, he locked down Julius Randle. And I also want to mention that when the Knicks played the Hawks all three times, Tom Thibodeau even said this, the Hawks were not fully healthy. They had players injured. I mean, talking about travel situations, the Hawks were in a bad situation at that time. But, you know, the Hawks will get a chance to rematch and show you know, their true colors in the playoffs against this team. They have four chances to beat them. They have four. They have to beat them four times in order to uh, advance. And I think they can do that. I really think they can do that. Now, let's let, now let's give a little praise to the New York Knicks. The New York Knicks are, in my opinion, the top defensive team in the league. They play tremendous defense. They play defense that the Hawks don't play. They have the pieces to play the defense. They just don't play any defense. They don't have any players that are committed to playing defense like the Knicks do. Let's look at R.J. Bear, who has made, the, in my opinion, next to Julius Randle, made the most improvement. Oh, for Peyton, he's okay. I mean, after what, after the past, you know, he's not lost respect, but, you know, he's he's just one of those players. Obi Toppin can shoot the three ball? What? I know, right? Obi Toppin, I was not expecting him to be able to shoot the three ball as well as, well as he can, but he can shoot the three ball. Uh, Derrick Rose, you can't forget about Derrick Rose and Reggie Bullock. Those two people have uh, experience with Todd Gibson. All those players are so great. And then you got to look at um, quickly coming off the bench. And then, you know, you look at quickly and all those great guys who can come off the bench and make a difference and make an impact. Hey, the New York Knicks are going to be tough. Now, what do I actually, how do I actually think this series is going to go? Knicks fans, you're going to hate me. But I'm definitely going with the Hawks in six games. I'm going the Hawks 4-2. I'm going to say that the Hawks split in New York. They're going to win the first game, lose the second game. Because um, that's just the way I think it's going to work. And then they're going to win two in Atlanta, especially since they're so high at home. They're going to win two in Atlanta. Okay. The Knicks are going to come back because they're going to be down 3-1 at that, at that moment. The Knicks are going to come back. They're going to do what they do. They're going to put the series to 3-2. to two. Hawks are going to steal it at home. They're going to steal it at home. They're going to win. They're going to win the series four games to two. Now, it's important for the Hawks to be able to out-rebound the Knicks. Out-rebound the Knicks. You have to out-rebound the Knicks. If you don't out-rebound the Knicks, it's going to be a tough series. You got to out-rebound the Knicks. Trey Young has to be the scoring machine that he is. And then you got to look at, uh, you know, columns. Everyone has to play their game. Gallinari can back down in the post. He can get good shots. Okay? So... With the first game being on Sunday at 7 o'clock, play it on TNT, which I'm really excited about. Um, them playing on TNT. Um, the Haw this will be the Hawks' second time this season playing on TNT. I just want to tell you all and remind you all the excellent teams that the Atlanta Hawks beat. They beat the Milwaukee Bucks. They beat the Phoenix Suns. They beat the Miami Heat. They beat the Los Angeles Lakers. Who else did they? they beat the Clippers at the beginning of the season. They beat the 76ers at the beginning of the season. Uh, they beat the Brooklyn Nets in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. By a lot of points. What was it? By a lot of points. They beat Brooklyn by a lot of points. In Brooklyn. With Kyrie and KD playing. 
they pick them by a lot of points. Okay? Uh, if you look, the Hawks also beat the San Antonio Spurs. They swept the Pelicans. They had Zion Williams and Lonzo Ball, Lonzo Ball Brandon Ingram. They have such great players on the Pelicans. People underrate the Pelicans. I like the Pelicans. Uh, they're not my team, but I like the Pelicans. They play well. And the Hawks swept them. Um, the Hawks, I think, split with Utah, split with Denver. Um, let's see. Who else did they go out on the West Coast? They split with the Kings. They should. They really should have beat the Kings. Okay, I'll, I, I will give the Kings that credit and say that they played tough. But the Hawks should have beat the Kings. Okay, and then you look at how the Hawks be, beat Washington. They won the series 3-0, and they beat Indiana 2-1. But the way they were able to win those back-to-back games and everything, the way they were able to make a comeback the second game that shows the fight and the intensity. Even the first game, it shows that they will never give up in the playoffs. They're always going to keep fighting. They're always going to keep that intensity. So if you look at uh, you know, just the way they, they played all these things, they beat Boston in a series. 2-1. 2-1 against Boston. I think they swept Toronto. Swept Toronto. Beat Miami 2-1. Swept the Magic. Which, that's not a surprise, but, you know, Orlando's good. Give them credit. Okay? I think they won the series against Charlotte. Uh, or they lost it 1-2, or they won it 2-1. One of the two. And then you have to look at how well... Uh, what was that? How well the Rockets were playing before they went on that 20-game losing streak slump. Okay, they, they swept them, but it's not that's not that big. Dallas. I think the Hawks split with Dallas... Um, you know, we got the Rockets, the Mavericks, and the Spurs, all of them in Houston. And they all either won a series or split with them. So, if you go back to the West Coast, <clears throat> you look at who they played. They swept Golden State, who is now trying to play for a playing game. They swept Golden State, okay? You know, they beat Stephen Curry and... All, all, all those great guys, because the war is tough. Trust me, they're tough. They really should have won that game last night, but they're really tough. Okay, and then you you know you look at Portland. I think they swept Portland. Yeah, they, I think they swept Portland. And then you know, of course, Minnesota's not that good, but they beat them too. The Hawks have beaten a lot of great teams with Lloyd Pierce. You know, the Hawks lost twenty games to Lloyd Pierce. Come on, come on, Pierce. You have that roster. You 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 lose twenty games. You haven't even you haven't even won twenty. You haven't won fifteen games, and you get and you, and you lose twenty. No one comes in and goes an eight game win streak. That just makes you look bad. So kudos to Matt Millen uh, for doing what he did. I personally believe that if Matt Millen was the coach to start off the year, the Hawks would be a three or a two seed. Um, just because you can't tell me that Matt Millen does not at least win seven or eight or nine out of those twenty games that. They lost under Lloyd Pierce, which puts them in that position. They're they're most definitely three and two contenders. They're Eastern Conference contenders. The Hawks, I, I think. Look, look, the game. There's a game tonight, Washington and Indiana. Depending on who wins this game, will depend on if the Hawks get past the first round. This particular game tonight will determine who the Hawks will probably play. In the second round of the playoffs, if Indy, I strongly believe that Indiana will win, and Indiana can beat the Philadelphia 76ers in the first round of the playoffs, four games to two. I'm sticking to it. Indiana is tough; they will play with intensity. If they get Karis Levert back, it's hands down game over Philadelphia. Russell Westbrook and Bradley Bill they can win one game against the 76ers. It's a four-one series. Come on, it's a four-one series. So, you know, with that being said. I personally feel like the Hawks are in a very good position to make a run at the Eastern Conference Finals, uh, but they got to get past the Knicks in the first round, which I think they will. I think they will. Thibodeau and the Knicks, they're going to be tough. They're going to be tough. There's no question about it. They're going to be tough. They will be tough. They are, they've are. they been tough all season. But the Hawks are also tough. The Hawks will also be tough. And the Hawks have also been tough all season. So, um... Also, I got this new phone stand right here. Um, I stream live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Chauncey Gamer. Um, so I got this to read chat. You know, you, you can put your phone in it. So I got that to, to do that. So that's what y'all are seeing right there. But, um, yeah, Atlanta, 
make your presence. Make your presence known. And um, don't show up and be nervous just because you're going to the Madison Square Garden. It's just another arena. I take that back. It's not another arena. Madison Square Garden is the greatest arena of all time. But just treat it like it's another arena. Go in there. You know, go in there and, and, and get the win. Prove everyone wrong. Because I know Stephen A., he says that the Knicks will beat the Hawks in seven games. But that's it. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And you all have a good one.